freshmen. We get up really early in the morning and weights first and then practice two days and we just ran a lot and I'm not a runner so it was hard. <laughs> role is what I think um, also just like to set a good mindset for like the younger girls and like let them know what coach expects and like what this Ready, program's all about ball, just ball. from the other three years that I've been because number one injury prevention number two the stronger we are the faster we can complete a skill the faster we complete a skill the better we can be at our work. Left hand, right foot. The main benefit from being in here is the coaching that they get. This week in practice is going to be the toughest week you've ever had mentally. Mentally. I'm telling you right now. Get up, higher. We have something called fitness week, which is two to three practices a day, and by the end of it, you can't walk at all. It's the most miserable thing you'll ever go through. But by the end of it, you are the fittest you've ever been in the world. We're piecing group together so that we can take it further into the season. Hot, and you have no time to do anything else except sleep and shower, and you're with your team the whole time. The hill, we have a practice up a hill, an hour and a half of just straight drills up a hill. It's brutal. to go 18 and 0, but we are thrown into a new conference that has a lot better teams than we're used to and a lot better pressure on us that we're going to have to work our butts off every game and give 110% every game to try to exceed coaches' expectations in our own. <laughs> and you go for them. <laughs> which makes it harder for the upperclassmen thinking they can come in and just, they don't have to work that hard. And we have these freshmen that are like hungry for their spot on the team. Actions, okay, what you do Wednesday night, okay? If they outplay you, outwork you, out hustle you. It's a huge honor like playing with all the upperclassmen and like I learned like each game from them, but I, like I, I'm a freshman so I'm not expect, I wasn't expecting to like come in and start right away. A defender, a freshman out of McKinney, Texas, number 13, Courtney Cox. At forward, a freshman out of Choctaw, number 14, Caitlin Ball. I think they came in and they were ready to work hard. We, I think we were kind of unexpected about that. They came in with the intentions, like they want to start in there pushing us hard. The years of coaching. I found it's good to get away the uh, first weekend and the team gets to bond, gets to know each other a little bit. Uh, you know, we're a top 20 team and we feel like we can compete with anybody in the country, so uh, we don't mind playing, uh, you know, whoever's on our schedule. Record on the way yeah. there. <laughs> it's going to be super fun. Wave, wave, wave. Nobody waves. Okay. Just to like travel with the team and like get away from Oklahoma <laughs> for the weekend and like it like I think it brought everyone closer and I got to like know the girls better. Okay. Oh, you go! Woo! If you're gonna be a starter, your job is to go out there and set the tone for us. Okay, and it's your responsibility to do that, but it's your responsibility to the rest of the team so that we can keep making subs and keep getting players in and keep the pressure on and keep winning games as easily as possible, okay? And I'm not saying we're going out and we're trying to win every game 10-0 and everyone sucks and we're going to be okay. That's not what we're talking about. Okay? Older, returning players, I need your focus. I need you uh, mentally tough out there, okay, leading us, okay? 
with your discipline, your, your decision making, okay, your effort. And we'll see what happens out there. Um, I thought that we played really well, um, especially in the first half. I think that it was definitely one of our better games, especially like starting within like the first 15 minutes. We had four goals in 15 minutes, which was really well for us. Um, You know, in life, there's always things going on besides soccer, but it's been nice um, over the years, no matter what you're dealing with, you can go to soccer and just like talk to the girls about it and relate to them. And even if it's soccer related and you're stressed out, like, oh man, coach, coach is really getting on me. It's so hard, but you can talk to them and they understand. It's nice just having that group that knows what you're going through. to them in 15 years so I mean it's really hard because coming in as a freshman and losing to them it kind of feels like it's partly our fault that that happened but I mean when it comes down to it the team we didn't have as good of a game as we should have had and we could have worked a lot harder to get there. I mean we were on a winning streak so the loss was kind of humbling but um, uh, it, we had to learn from it and we came back from it and I think we got stronger as a team because of it. Well, we have two games left and hopefully we'll win both of those and then we have a conference game and if we win that then we get to play in the conference tournament and we continue that. So I would ideally like to win the conference tournament and go to the national tournament. So that would be really cool. Hey, go inside, go inside, quicker, quicker, go inside. You know, we try to schedule the best teams we can find. It's been harder and harder to schedule over the years. Uh, they were good, solid competition. If we keep winning, we'd have 11 more games until the national championship. So yeah, it's like another whole season. <laughs> um, their leadership was definitely very dominant. <laughs> um, they they were good leaders, like really good players and people I looked up to. But next year we only have like two or three seniors, so it's gonna be a lot different. Um, maybe better, maybe not, I don't know. Cause there was, the seniors, they kind of dominated the entire team cause there were so many of them. So maybe it'll be a little bit different next year. After like all the games and stuff, like just have to learn to like love each other like sisters and with this team it makes it a lot easier because all the girls are great. Really taking constructive criticism would be beneficial for some of the girls that we played with this year. Also a couple losses are okay on a schedule or ties because it makes the team stronger. It kind of is a reality check to where, you know, we're not invincible, we can't lose games. So, um, really a push to get us back on focus and back on track to where we want to go, which, you know, we want to finish out strong and win our last couple games going into the conference tournament with uh, some confidence. Fighting for every single inch. Literally, that's what I mean. Finding that little effort and fighting for every single inch. Because every 50 50 ball, for some reason. Um, we had our watch party Monday night um, to find out if we'd make it to the national tournament. And we found out we did. And uh, that's when it was like really rushed and we had to like pack and get ready because we were going to Minnesota. Pretty exciting to realize like, hey, we're going to nationals. We lost in the regional tournament, which is kind of like a bummer. but. It was cool to find out, well, hey, we still got to go to the National Tournament, and I think we still did pretty well. It was kind of mixed emotions, actually. Like, we were all excited, especially seniors, because you don't want to end on that kind of loss, you know, especially in the conference tournament. We usually do pretty well, and we really wanted to win it this year. So it was good having um, that second chance to kind of make your last game your best game. to get lackadaisical and just kind of go through the motions of things but if you just stay focused like the whole time and um, give it your all the whole entire practice and not just half of it or first time.
everyone else because that team made us play to their ability and that's where we should have been playing all season. Our record showed that we had talent. Unfortunately, the mindset is why we had three ties and a loss because we weren't ready for those four games. The strength of schedule in our wins throughout the season, we had two losses throughout the whole season, but remain undefeated in the conference. So our record put us in, and of course, the making it to the conference. Their four days, which is a rematch of the game we lost in the semis there at uh, the conference tournament, so we're excited. Looking for revenge in this first game in the national tournament. similar to us, they, they really paralleled us in ways that we didn't even understand. They were, they had the same potential that we had, but they used their potential in a different way. And it was kind of nice to see that, to see what we have to work towards. Finished off third in the region. We were one or two most of the, the entire season. So uh, the nice thing is they go on your body of work for the whole year. We had a great year. So uh, that's nice to know that uh, we finished that high in the region. It's our team, and it depends on how we show up individually and how we play for the team. So it's all within our hands. I know you guys uh, have a lot on your mind right now with school and everything else. I do want you to know how very, very proud we are of all of you guys. And what you've done this year has been remarkable. Um, interestingly enough, though, when you get in the playoffs, none of that matters. It's all about the season, new season starts now. So go get them, play hard, and enjoy the experience. And we'll see you guys. Uh, Back here Sunday night. Come back Sunday night. Monday, whenever. Have our championship Sunday celebration night. Sunday night, right? Come back. Right. Yes. There you go. All right. Good luck, guys. Our goal is to uh, get to the final four and see what happens. So anything short of that, you feel a little disappointed. At the same time, uh, it was a tough season, went through a lot of things. Um, you know, we won a lot of games. We went really far in the tournament. I mean, we played really hard. The team that beat us was a good team. So I'm not looking back on it, we did the best we could and we deserved the result we got. I'm okay with going out that way because that was a fantastic team who was still competing and they were everything we tried to be and unfortunately that day we didn't put it together. Hard. I mean it's been one of those seasons that we really came together as a team and it's, it's been a great ride you know we're looking forward to it in the next few years because we got a lot of returning players that are going to really contribute a lot over the next few years.
together. These are some of the best friends that you'll have for your whole life. And I mean, senior girls now will be my bridesmaids. So I definitely say stick as a team and just work for each other, not for yourself.